My name is Andy Lewis, and I am a slackliner. The way I look at the world is kind of creative. Slacklining basically is tying a piece of webbing between two points and walking across. I use landscapes where people wouldn't see something original and something beautiful. What you're looking for is, it's hard, hard to describe. You can make something that wasn't once there, and now something that is. The DJI Phantom 4 allows me to capture a perspective that gives the, a relevant explanation to what I'm doing. How high it is, how scary it is, how committing it is, how focused you have to be. You can write a story and you can tell people how scary it was and how much effort it took. But unless you can really get a visual that people can connect with, it's really hard to describe. When I'm shooting with the Phantom 4, I'm not, I'm not just shooting a highline, I'm shooting an emotion. I'm, I'm shooting a story. So you find points that are high off the ground, points that create exposure. And exposure creates the mindset of fear, which is kind of the emotion that you are learning to battle. And that emotion is what we're looking for. The adventure is what's fun. It's, it's getting from point A to point B, not just on the line. How do you get up to the top? It's kind of fun to have some help. When I use the Phantom 4, I can just look at the monitor, I see where I want to go on the screen, and I tap to see what's at the top of that tower, actually. And instead of having to climb up there and look at it, you can fly up to, to get approach shots, to get a sense of the area. Another really cool feature is the obstacle avoidance feature. It helps me not run my drone into different things, like rocks or walls or towers. And then it looks like it's going to fly into it, it actually will stop before it damages itself or damages somebody else, which I find is actually kind of brilliant. I also really like that you can select you and have the drone follow you. And I can go out on my line and get perspectives that I otherwise wouldn't be able to do by myself. So I can now go out and film myself solo, which is very nice when you're trying to go places that a lot of people don't go. You go out into the wilderness, and you're looking for something that uh, takes your breath away, I guess. Something that is awe-inspiring. Sometimes you do have to think very hard on how to do things, but sometimes it's just one step at a time. One foot in front of the other.